Welcome back to the Busy Vegan Mom. Today, I'm going to show you three healthy vegan meals I ate this weekend. Our first meal is going to be a cauliflower grain bowl. You can choose any grain that you want. I'm going to use oats today. Here are some microgreens that I bought from the farmer's market that I'll be using in this dish. I take some riced cauliflower, pop it in the microwave, as well as my rolled oats. Now you can use quinoa, rice, any type of grain that you want, but I am going to use oats. It's between breakfast and lunchtime while I'm making this dish and I just put some hot water over my oats let them sit for a little bit and as I said prior put my rice cauliflower in the microwave for about five minutes and chop up some nice in-season fall crisp apple here oh my gosh so 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 good I usually begin my meals with an apple it's just a great little bit of fiber to add into your body and also helps to keep you full. And I'm gonna add a little sprinkle of hemp hearts, a little, little bit of sprinkles here, <laughs> uh, just to add that healthy fat component into my dish. So it doesn't take much. Once I've added my veggies to my grain, I sprinkle on some of my favorite yellow bird blue agave sriracha sauce. You can find it at most local grocery stores. And here's some of those microgreens. Microgreens are so powerful. Look into them. And here's our final product. Nice flavors here and so many beautiful, beautiful things to eat in this meal. I also like to snap, snack on applesauce from time to time and I get the non-GMO, all organic uh, with no added ingredients. Here here is meal number two that I had over the weekend. It's so nice and full of fall veggies. I started with an acorn squash. My my, these are so difficult to cut up. If you've ever cut one up, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I put the oven on 375 and I chopped up the acorn squash into little slices of course took out the seeds from the middle once i finally got into the acorn squash took some water maple syrup and some cinnamon and just put it all in a bowl and this is what i used on top as uh, my marinade i don't use any oil when i cook and so the maple syrup and the water end up doing just fine and you'll see this is my favorite brand of rice this is the lotus foods organic jasmine rice and i'm going to cook the rice in some veggie broth for a change instead of regular water just to see if i notice a difference in the taste this is a low sodium veggie broth i just put um, about two cups of rice in my skillet here with the appropriate amount of veggie broth or water whatever you choose to use put it on high bring it to a boil and then allow it to cook for 30 minutes on a lower heat setting and here's our finished product of the rice and now that i've taken the acorn squash out of the oven you see that it's nice and caramelized and it, oh my gosh i can't tell you how good this ended up tasting i wanted to throw in some more veggies so i've got some steamed broccoli now you can chop up your veggies and steam them on your own but i like to make my meals quick and not have to take forever Ever. so sometimes I will buy the kind that you can just plop in the microwave I added some hummus as well as some microgreens look at this beautiful dish this was so filling and satisfying I scored like three bags of fresh organic pears straight from the tree I found somebody on Facebook marketplace that was selling these for four dollars a bag and if you bought two bags you got an extra bag so I bought some for me, some for the babysitter. And here is meal number three. This is literally all the leftovers that I had in my fridge. Of course, starting with an apple again, like I said. So here's my leftover Brussels sprouts and broccoli, some cucumber that I had, chopped it all up, got my leftover organic uh, rice as well as the acorn squash and I place this all in a bowl look at this lemon juice that I'm just spreading all over oh my gosh lemon juice adds the most beautiful flavor to anything really brings out the flavors add some extra vitamin c to help absorb the nutrients even more and absorb the iron but lemon juice is just so amazing more microgreens more hummus this is just so abundant in flavor and tasted so amazing see being vegan eating plant-based eating healthy is not difficult it does not have to be hard you saw how easy these dishes were to throw together so simple just you're cooking things and putting them in a bowl chopping things up that's it if you'd like to support my channel further you can go to buymeacoffee.com slash the busy vegan mom if you enjoyed this video if you found it helpful or interesting please hit the thumbs up button it does let me know to continue to make videos like this and it helps with the algorithm don't forget to subscribe see you next week